Welcome to the Toronto March to close down all slaughterhouses. I want to thank you all for having come out today to participate in this historic event. An event which had its inception last year in France with the meat abolition movement. An event within a movement which encompasses a message of social and political change. An event whose aim is to engage in outreach to members of the public so that they too may understand and accept that meat, fish, eggs, dairy, and all products of exploitation and cruelty must be banned. And an event, and an event in which today 17 cities worldwide are participating. An event in which we all collectively take a stand against animal exploitation and in which we come together in a call for all to join in a political boycott and expression of support for the abolition of all forms of cruelty against our fellow beings and to demand the closing of all slaughterhouses. I mentioned that this is an historic event, so I wanted to speak to you for a moment on what I meant. We often look at pivotal events and eras in history especially those which have ushered in periods of great social change, as if they're somehow disconnected from us, acted out and upon by individuals and groups that with the perspective of hindsight, seemingly appear larger than life. Women and men that were seemingly able to move mountains or to leave tall buildings with single bounds, that were apparently guided and protected by great forces that allowed them to endure the slings and arrows of a status quo not yet ready for them or their ideas. But the truth is, at their core, they were no different from each of you here today. And it is in fact individuals like you here today, individuals with your desire, your willingness to boldly speak out, to allow your thoughts and conscience to translate into action that make days like this historic. Individuals like you that make this struggle historic. Individuals like you that are the instruments of a social change that will shake and shape our world for generations to come. A world transformed into a more peaceful, just place where the worth of beings will not be judged by our collective capacity to exploit them, but where they will instead be respected for their inherent right to exist. And where every individual, regardless of species, will be allowed to live free from the threat of suffering at the hands of humans. I can paraphrase today from a well-known historical document and say that these ideas which we've come together to promote, these truths, as it were, are self-evident. But I'm forced to confront the fact that truth, as with many things in life, unfortunately, often lies in the eye of the beholder. And that truth is most certainly always always bent and twisted by the will of the exploiter. But that is why we are here today. To say, nay, to shout to the exploiters, no, you will not continue unmolested. To tell them that the voices of all the tortured, murdered beings that they muffle behind their slaughterhouse walls will no longer be silenced. And that the pleading eyes that look out from the trucks and trains that carry these innocent beings to the death camps day after day, hour after hour, in a seemingly never-ending holocaustal procession will no longer be ignored. <laughs> For with each step that we collectively take today, we pledge to be the voice of the voiceless. We promise to be the champions of the oppressed. And we vow to be the conscience of all humankind. <laughs>